Yeah, yeah. Don't don't be a dick. All right, just be cool. I'm fine. Fuck you. <laughs> just, <laughs> Jesus, cry, Minnie. He's eating meat again. <laughs> 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 Musically meditated. Musically meditated. Musically meditated. Welcome to Musically Meditated Podcast. This is the special J. Cole edition. I want to talk about J. Cole because a lot of people are putting him on a pedestal. I do like him as an MC. I think he has a lot to say, especially mm-hmm. lyrically. And I have my man Mike Barth with me. Mike was here on the podcast before. It was episode 10, I think. 11. Oh, episode 11. Okay, mm-hmm. episode 11. So. Go back and check that out. Um, what did we discuss on that again? What did, what did we uh, agree to disagree on and everything? Well, we never agree on anything. That's why I have you here. Well, when it comes to kind of the hip-hop. Yeah, the sense. hip-hop thing. But we talked Eminem. And uh, Cardi B and... Uh, Black Thought, that Black, Black Thought, Thought yeah, freestyle. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that was like late December, early January? Yeah. 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 So everybody go back and check that out. That was really... Yeah, that was it. It was, uh, it was interesting because, I mean, you just came off the uh, Black Thought thing and that was good. And I went at, I went at Eminem pretty hard. Went at Eminem yeah, you weren't agreeing on his... Uh, Cypher he did for the BET Awards, in a sense. Um, but my opinion was the whole thing of... He was trying to make a statement, not a uh, reaction for a crowd of uh, rhyming. Right. He was right. trying to get you know do his thing. So yeah, check out episode 11 real quick. I got to do some some plug in my own, my own stuff here. Right. Uh, yeah, Musically Meditated. Check it out. Please subscribe. It's on iTunes. It's on Stitcher. It's on iHeartRadio. It's on YouTube. Just search the term. Please subscribe. Please like comment everything especially to you know my earlier listeners all of you all have been very supportive good or bad just good or bad whatever talk shit just let them have it just let me have it and but just please uh you know get it out there the listener is growing so thus far it's 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 going in a great direction yeah it's a lot of fun it is it's It's a lot of fun and uh there'll be some merchandise in this like soon to come some t-shirts yeah where's mine some koozies some stickers i'm still in the process koozies koozies summer's right around the corner you're gonna have some musically meditated koozies you know represent there you go are you okay with that I'm okay um, with it. I mean, if you're a chick, you want a koozie. That's cool. Oh, you're too cool. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want a koozie. I for mean, your my blood my, I, my drink might be too cool, but you know, I'm good, man. Right, right, right around for the Fourth of July. You know, what we're gonna have is a musically meditated float uh, Shut for the Fourth of Are July. Are you really? <laughs> no, but that would be cool. Yeah, would well, it well, be awesome? That why would not? be awesome. Yeah, you're located in Hobart. Why yeah, not? Yeah, we could do that. That might be something we'll do. I don't know how the hell you go about doing that. We'll just use my truck and then make our own thing. Yeah, you could. And then but I don't get, know how you go about getting into the parade. Who do you got to talk to for that? Oh, we know people. You do. You do. <laughs> I know people that know people that know people. You know I, people that... Know people? On a political level, yeah. Yeah, on that, on that political level, yeah. yeah. I'm from the streets. I'm, I'm from the people. streets. I know, I know people on the streets. <laughs> I don't know anybody. <laughs> but yeah, so please uh, you know, subscribe, share, look for Musically Meditated on any application any any podcast application oh, yeah. and, and check it out and check it out. But back again to J. Cole. For those of you that really don't know who he is, he's a, he's a rapper. He's been around. I know he was doing mixtapes since like 09. So we'll, we'll give him 10 years. Uh, yeah, it's about 10 years. About 10 years. Yeah. And he just dropped a new album, K.O.D. Mm-hmm. And that came out, what, like maybe a week ago? Yeah. So I haven't really talked hip-hop much. I know I talked with Boyan. When he came on, but you and I were like the really last. I mean, there's other episodes where I've, you know, talked about an artist here or there, but a right. specific hip hop, right? The cat, episode. the whole yeah podcast. Also. So I had to call Mike up because he's a hip hop head. And here's the funny thing: is we really never agree anymore. We agreed a lot on hip hop when we were younger, and we like a lot of the same '90s stuff. Not right. all of it, right? right? Right, right. But there's a lot of times too. I'll be like, "Hey, Mike, check this out." You're like, "Yeah, I don't like it." Right. And I'll be like, "Come on, man. You know, I don't like it." So. Right. I really wanted to get your opinion mm-hmm. on the new on the new uh, J Cole because he is definitely put on this pedestal. You know, like online, if you watch anything online when he drops something, mm-hmm. and you keep an eye on the hip hop community, mm-hmm. like as far mm-hmm. as Vlad or right. whatever, it right. is, Even the needle drop, uh, needle drop with Anthony Fantano. If if you haven't heard of him, please check him out. Right. Most people do know who he is, but. Everybody, you know, wants to review the new J Cole and, right. and break it down and. I don't know, Mike. Just a real, real basic question. 
what was your first impression, you know, after one listen of the entire album? Not that amused. Okay. I was kind of like, man, it's different, but he's still doing his rapping, lyrical thing. I don't know what exactly he's trying to do because it's only 12 songs on there anyways. So a lot of people are like... He it, dropped... seems, it seemed a little disconnected, right? Yeah, it, it was... I don't I, I, Like, he's almost trying to portray what's going on now in the uh, hip-hop game with the younger heads coming up. I don't know if he's trying to hold a mirror up, you know, being like, this is what it kind of you guys sound like, and it ain't the greatest. Yeah, because the whole KOD is king of overdose or king of drugs. There's I don't a, know what the KOD is. Yeah, there, there's a there's a bunch of different Obviously, from looking at the art cover on it, yeah. you see that. You would think that because you see the kids underneath that yeah. are doing drugs. But And he's taking shots at a lot of these. I don't know if it's one in particular. I, I think it's a... Uh, a few of the kids coming up that not only with the what they say little pump, yeah, a little little whatever something little whoever's little out there, yeah. But he is basically doing what he's got to do. He's standing up for what he loves, doing his subliminal thing. I mean, you can come straight out and say people's names, but he's doing the art form of it. He's actually not even really taking shots. He's schooling them. I mean, yeah, if, you listen, I, if you listen to it, he's trying to tell them what, like, hey, man, it's like, it's kind of like this. And, and back to that, too, like, I asked you, like, does it seem a little disconnected? And, I mean, it didn't, it sounds, it didn't impress you really either. No, it, it didn't. Because when you told me you were going to do this podcast, I was like, all right, I like J. Cole. I know some of his songs from the radio, but I never really sat there and listened to a whole album or anything else. So I went and listened to the few albums that he put out before and, I like those a lot better. Like I was like, those are a lot better than this one. And yeah, I like 2014 Forest Hill Drive. I like that one. I for some reason. Would you like the one before that? Yeah, I, I, I really. Center? Yeah, no, 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 no. That, um, Cold World, the sideline yeah, story. Yeah, that right. one. It was just like because what he signed to Jay Z or he's under Jay Z. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think he, I don't know if he still is, but he was. That's by. On that album. Well, maybe that's why he's put on a pedestal because everybody loves Jay Z, and I never really got that either. I know exactly. we're getting a little bit off the of topic. No, but that's on. Let's, that- let's focus on that because he is such a powerhouse, and maybe that's creating the hype, like especially online. Well, he's, well, he's got the he's yeah because he's got probably the backup for uh, endorsement, in a sense. But he, even if he didn't have Jay Z, he was. I'd still look at him as like, yo, this dude is one of the best out right now, and he's could be one of the greatest. Just if he keeps doing what he's doing. It just seemed like this album was disconnected. The one before it's just, it's, for, it, it, for your eyes only. It's like, is this a concept album? Which I think, you know, focusing on KOD right now, I feel like it's a concept album where he I, I can't figure it out. Is he rapping from a third person perspective? Is he putting his own personal experiences into it? And then obviously he's upset with like the drug culture and the mumble rap stuff. But it's like I can't really I think it's too disconnected from a lyrical standpoint to really be able to hit the head. On the, you know, like just. I think like, it's uh, I think it's almost like he's holding up a mirror, because when I listen to it, I'm like, it sounds like he's going in the style of how these guys with their beats and almost the sound of the voice flow. How these guys are now, but he's still making sense. Like, okay, that's a good the point. Guys, yeah, that's the, a really the, good point. The, the new artists in hip-hop that are doing it, it's only the sound. There's no... Lyricism. Yeah, there, there's no story. There, there, there's no uh, content. There's It's yeah. it's nothing. It's just... Mu- that's why they call it mumble, because they're just mumbling some shit that sounds good to somebody, and the words aren't even... Uh, it's just something to... So, is yeah, that's a good thing. Like, is Maybe is he that deep of an artist to where... He's he's knocking it down like he's knocking down. He's doing the a subliminal music. Yeah, so this is a complete subliminal thing. Yeah, I mean, because there's only twelve songs on it. It's not like a real big album, so it's almost like he did this to be like, all right, I'm gonna drop this just because this is how I've been feeling. Instead of, I mean, he can go out there like any other artist, but he's an uh, artist that's, I would say, conscious. Yeah, conscious rapper. You know, so he made the song that everybody's like, oh, he's dissing, and some of the stuff he's dissing, but he's not dissing. It's subliminally maybe, but he's also has content of he's trying to teach. Like he's saying these words and telling okay. them this is what you should be doing because what you're doing now ain't gonna last. Yeah, say like there's like references to like 
save money for your mom, and then you know you're something when you bought your mom a house. That's like the last song, something 1985. Yeah, because you're sitting there buying all the stuff that, for the image, is going to get you shown and seen for right now. Yeah, what's hot right now? Yeah, what's hot right now? That's a, if you're uh, really, which even those artists even say that. I mean, this little pump dude even says, I'm not on that lyrical stuff. He's like, I live for right now. Okay, I the mean, the fact that little pumps even brought into the discussion is, I mean, but, but unfortunately, it, it, that's the reality of it. Yeah, no, it is because that's almost, he's like one of the guys that he's taking shots at and he's, yeah, because, he talks shit about, cool right? Too. Because it, it, he's, because this dude op- came out and he says it openly, like, yo, this is what it's about. And if you have a love for something, then I would think you'd speak up on it. I mean, look at like Tupac and all the greats that did that. They, they, they stood up for something at the end of everything. And and for those that you don't know, if you don't know who Little, what's his name, Lil Pump? Yeah, he's the guy that did Gucci Man, Gucci Man, Gucci Man, Gucci Man, Gucci Gang or Gucci Gang. <laughs> well, there's <laughs> there, there, there's Gucci Man, there's, there's Gucci Man, the that's a rapper, yeah, Gucci yeah. Gang, and but it, it, yes, the yeah the Gucci, Gucci Gang. gang. Gucci he's gang, a, Gucci gang. I mean, I don't know what nationality he looks mixed. He looks white, which color don't have nothing to do with it, but yeah. the sense of or he's Hispanic or something. Or yeah, it, he's I don't know what's up with that dude. But it, just, it's the the way. I don't know these dudes are looking. I'm just like, they're just looking like I don't even like dyed hair. I, I don't know. We're we're being kind of judgmental, on right? The way the dude yeah, looks. which I, I, which I just, don't. That just kind of makes us. We are getting older. Yeah, you know, like what, what is this kid up to? Like, yeah, what look, is this? What is this? Look? From the looks of this? something, you're like, yo, oh, man, yeah. like, and and I don't want to be like that because when, I, when I was younger, that's how I got looked at, and I didn't like it because I was like, yo, I'm not. But the thing was, I wasn't like what I looked like. It was to me, it was almost like. This is what the style that I like, but I wasn't living that life. I was just like, yo, yeah. this is it's it was just something fun. It's to just me. immaturity, and these guys are these new mumble rappers are very immature. But back to J. Cole and the content, trying to break it down, is is he making this? I, I feel like the album's a little bit weak, and is he doing it on purpose? Because even like his flows on this, I know there's only one feature technically, and the dude never has features on any right, of his albums. Right, right, right. And it's just his alter ego, and his alter ego has a name. I forget what it is, but he slows down the voice. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. And it's just silly. It's dumb. I, I, I didn't like it either. I, I was like just like, it. yeah, I was just like, like I said, a few good songs, but I was like, I'm not really feeling it. I was like, but is this intentionally for people to be like, yo, what is this? And how these new heads are going to react. And if they react the same, to be like, you know, that's garbage. What is it? Well, here, here's a mirror. I do like I do like Kevin's heart. That's the one song I, I like. You said you didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't really dig that one. The the, the uh, KOD too. I mean, all the other ones were pretty weren't bad. It, it, well, with the interludes, whatever the skits that he did, I was kind of like 1985 at the end. That's where he's he no he went in on that one and that was good. That's the best song because that's what it's basically about. It was just like all right, here's what I think about everything that's going on now that not a lot of people are going to say, but as mainstream as J Cole is now, he did it in a subliminal way as Jay Z would do it. He's almost like, I like J. Cole. I even like him more from listening to his albums because I never really did. I always liked him. I was like, oh, the dude's good. He's got good songs, you know, even on the radio. But I like him even more now because I heard other songs and the stuff that he talks about. He's a real dude. Like, he's not faking anything. He's a real dude that can rap. Yeah. And he can carry a little bit of a note, but not trying to be, you know, Drake. He just he can carry a little bit of a note and that's fine, but he can write and rhyme. Yeah, he's like a very good cross. He's a good in between like Kendrick lyricism and like the Drake. Uh, I don't want to call harmonize, it emo, but harmonize. Yeah. And here's the thing, I know we talked we talked about it a little bit, but I don't mind his harmonizing. Who? J. Cole's. You said you didn't like it. No, no, no. no. Well, or did, or, no, 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 no. I there's some that I do not like. A bad singer, but. Not when there's a whole song like that for that dude. Maybe for Drake, yes. Because Drake, to me, when he does it, it's fine. Because, I mean, honestly, I, his voice is, I think it's uh, all right for that. He's got kind of the voice and the look and everything and whatever. And I'm not dissing Drake. I like him. It's just, okay, if you had to break it down between J. Cole and him rapping, J. Cole is better. Better rap. Now, Drake can do it. But J. Cole, if it came to a battle, then J. J. Cole's got it. He's, he's I'm just saying I like, I like the way he sings. I, he's not bad. If he, he can carry a little bit of a note, but nah, I'm not singing. I I I don't like it. 
Okay. Because he's he's more of a rapper than a singer. And I look then I guess that's why I look at Drake as almost a singer than a rapper. Because a lot of people tend to like his rapping, but I'm like, dude, he sounds better as sometimes a singer. But each his own. It's a it's a whole new thing. And J Cole is talented enough to to jump into both ends. He could rap. Yeah. And I feel like he can harmonize. Yeah, he can. I just but he's not bad. Personal opinion between us two. Yeah. Yeah. We never agree. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and it's funny that you say that because today when I was listening to the album and or the other ones and maybe some of the songs that the whole time is kind of uh, singing or harmonizing, I was like, no. I was like, dude, I mean, maybe a little bit, the ad lib and stuff, but I was just like, that's you're not that dude. Like, you can throw in it a little bit, but keep it flowing. Keep the rap going. You know yeah, I mean? this KOD too, like, there's like a 90s thing going on, which kind of caught my attention and... Like after the third listen, and then the more I listen to it, I just it's even more boring. Like yeah, just, yeah, there you go. The boring. It's boring. It is. It, it does sound boring, and that's why I don't get why. Maybe he's doing that. Is it purposely? I don't think he's that deep. He might. Maybe his hardcore fans think it's like that because even the album before it was like, is this a concept album or not? You know, like same with this. Like, what is this really about? His rhymes are too disconnected, and I don't know. I don't know where he's coming from. Um, what is it? For your eyes only, it was the same way. Like that I never, was the one that came out in like late sixteen in two thousand and sixteen, and it's like, is he rapping from a personal standpoint? Like he's heartbroken, or is is this something he's actually experienced? Like is this like a love letter? I think, I, I think some of those album? are a real experience with him. Okay, he looks like that type of dude. I mean, uh, but then he's rapping about folding clothes for like. You know what? I I, hey, clothes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? No, it's funny. Today I was listening so to that, dumb. and I was like, I don't know if I'd be bragging to, about yeah, folding clothes. Folding clothes, like it's so dumb. I mean, I, I can see you know, <laughs> cooking chick dinner or something, you know, but sitting around folding clothes, I'm like, uh, it was kind of it was it was weird. It was corny. Yeah, that was, part was corny, but that album wasn't bad. But it seemed a little bit disconnected because I know I've talked on the podcast before, like what album did I like better, that or Kendrick's Damn. And I think I at one time I liked Jay Cole's a little bit better. And Which then, one? That one. Uh, for, for your, your eyes, eyes only? only? No. And I haven't even heard. And now looking back, you know how your opinion can change. Oh like, yeah, no, totally. Kendrick Dam's yeah, way yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, totally. And, Kendrick Dam's way better than this Kod. Right, too. right. I mean, I can totally see, and I haven't even listened to it, but it, just from knowing uh, Kendrick and uh, his style, I can see that. And not only that, but I mean. Because th- these two are on the... Uh, yeah, let's transition to that real quick. Let- let's move into this discussion. Because they're both always on the same pedestal. Right. And well, almost almost to a, like a sense, like in the 90s, like Tupac or Biggie, not saying that these two guys are anywhere close to those two, but they're in the same playing field. I wouldn't even put it as that. I put them as Nas and Jay-Z. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's a good... That's, yeah, so J. Cole's Jay-Z. Or no, maybe Kendrick would be Jay-Z. no. J. Cole is Jay-Z all the way. Because even listening to his album, the first and second one, matter if he's with uh, uh, Jay or not, the way he raps and the way he does things, I was just like, that's a Jay-Z style. You know what I mean? Like, he, like, because Jay-Z's got swag. That's what it is, I think. That's what I like about J. Cole. He's got swag. When he's he got raps. his own personality. He does, but, it, but, it, but it's a swag. It's almost yeah. like. It's a confidence. It's a confidence. And it's good. And I like it, you know. And I'm just like, that's what's up. That's why I like Kendrick Lamar. He just, he's like a beast. He just gets on the mic and it's like he spits. And he's got that one tone voice to me at least. But it's good. So, but about J. Cole, he can, he can switch it up. Like he switches, like singing. You like his singing. What about uh, Kendrick? He do, tries. And it's not good. It's not, no. Yeah. So Kendrick's the spitter. Yeah, who's more versatile? Yeah, yeah versatile. But, there you go. So, yeah, who's, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point. So you're saying Cole's more Jay Z. And then Kendrick's more Nas. Nas. I mean, they don't sound like each other, but maybe as lyrical. Because I always felt like they're in Nas. the same field. Yeah, they're in the same. They're in the same thing. Because a lot of people. Was and I was better. always a more Nas. I was always a bigger Nas fan than Jay Z fan. I I I, I always like Nas, and Jay Z. When it came to Nas, the only thing I didn't like was his beats. He's got some whack beats. You know what? Yeah, he he, he always did. And I mean, a lot of people can, but say, not Illmatic. No, no, no. He's, he's got good. There's good beats on some of the CDs. Don't get me wrong, but obviously that's Bill Maddox why, like one of the best rap. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, but I mean, he, that's why Jay Z always made it such. That's why he was such a popular artist because he had the right formula of 
See, the production. I, I only like Reasonable Doubt by him, too. I only like both those dudes. Well, throughout. that's where it comes, the difference between me and you, because I can pay attention and I will like mainstream stuff. I like mainstream stuff. No, you really don't. No, you <laughs> don't. Don't tell me what I like. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Because, I mean, it... it I love Kendrick sh- Lamar and I, I like J. Cole. But that's I, diff... Kendrick's pretty commercial, dude. So is J. Cole. And they're both on. That's why, I, like, to get back to that, like, they're on the same playing field. Who's do, who? Do, who's doing better? You know, like, who who do you think's a better rapper? You know, from the sense of being an MC, from record sales, everything. I like what J Cole does as far as being by himself on his records. He never has cameos, or at least right. he hasn't for the last three. Right. That takes a lot of confidence. Oh, of course. But you he's know, like, but he's got it. That's the thing, though. But it's... maybe he could use a little bit of inspiration because. And what he has, KOD and for your eyes only are lacking. Like in, he definitely can. I think he can rock with anybody. I know he can, but maybe he needs that so these albums aren't so damn boring. Well, now he does after this. Yeah, I think he does because this album after the other ones I listened to, I was like, not digging it. It's boring. It was. It was very boring. I was but like, like you said, is he doing this on purpose? And because it's what twelve songs, and then I heard that soon or later this year he's going to drop a whole album. Yeah. See, so I is this like? Is this like a? Little pre stepping stuff. Yeah, kinda kinda like throwing something out there like and people are paying attention to it because they heard about the little beef or the little diss or like, oh. So and if he is doing it, is he trying to test waters in a sense of the style, like let me see if I can do what they're doing and if people like it, but still stay in lyrical content. Or he's trying to bring in that younger age group, like, hey, That's listen, what I'm saying. listen to what I'm saying. While I'm dissing the culture that you enjoy, the right style now. of it, especially like the white fans. Yeah, well, yeah, with the, with the style of it, because it sounds like he's fucked up and on drugs. Yeah, but it does. if you listen to his words, he's actually making sense, and he's rhyming, and you know, the, he's trying to bring the, these this younger generation back to listening to the lyrics. Right, but, we're really digging deep now, but, but well, maybe it, he is and, doing. That. But that's just that's just you know, that's what you got to do to pull people in. Sometimes you got to go with their flow, but throw your own stuff. And yeah, style but, this, on it. but his stuff, his content, it's still disconnected. It's still boring. It's been disconnected and boring on this album, in my opinion. And same with KOD. Uh, for your eyes, yeah, KOD and for your eyes only. But 2014, Forest Hill Drives, we'll just call it Forest Hill Drives. Yeah. Like, that good. album's great. Yeah, it was very good. Like, I, I own I, that album. Like, even, I own that vinyl. I don't know any, I don't know, I do not own any Kendrick vinyl, but I own that. Like that's how I think that's one of the best rap like rap records. Well, besides you, I don't know anybody else that owns vinyls. Really? Not that it's saying it's bad. All it's the just, cool kids do, dude. Well, and that, I mean, but I mean, <laughs> if I had a, a record player, I, I probably would too, just because. But it, like, my, I'm just saying, like a modern rap album that I own is that's on there for sure. Oh like, yeah, I, I yeah. own it. Yeah, I, I don't. It. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that. So I really don't. Who I'm, I mean, but you know. I'm pretty sure there's other people that would like to get it too, but it's not like it's a rarity. I'm just like putting it out there, like that's how much I enjoy it. I actually bought it on wax. Oh, okay, yeah, you, that's all. Well, I'm yeah, saying. there you go. And let's say if you're trying to find it on CD, then well, yeah, I mean that's all day. But if I'm gonna buy a record, like I really gotta like it. Cause yeah, it's, yeah, it, you, it's you're right. There. You're right. Yeah, you know, you're right. You can you're touch right. it. You can feel it. You you're can right. smell it. All that shit. Right. But Plus the, yeah. I feel like he's almost like he hit his peak with that album, and I don't know what he's trying to do. Like. I hope he tries to live up to that, or, or or I don't know what he's doing as an artist. So yeah, it's weird, uh, especially with the style and the image and all that. It's are you. That's what I'm saying, like testing waters and trying to do different stuff with an image, still keeping the message in his music, but maybe a flow style that's different. Obviously, it sounds like these new rappers that sound like they're on drugs, which. They are. But at the same time, he's like, you know what? I'm going to do it like this, but I'm going to throw my stuff in there because maybe they'll like it, catch on to it, but get the message and they'll draw them in. Yeah, because the whole drug culture and all that shit's stupid. Yeah, it's fucking boring. I mean, it's it's almost like you got to be on fucking drugs to listen to it. You know what I mean? And I'm just like... No, thanks. Yeah, I mean, I'm good. And just like people can say you're old heads, this and that. And it's kind of weird being 35 and being like an old head. Like you I'm are a, an old head. You only like old shit whenever I try to throw you something uh, new. <laughs> well, a lot of your stuff is m- more... Uh, like alternative hip-hop? That and more underground. I mean, I do pay attention, but not as much as you do with that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm I, just trying to turn you on. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I mean, it, No, I, there's okay. some stuff I like, but I, it's not like... It's the, the, the sound and the style. 
You know what I mean? That that that's you. You've always been that way in a sense of uh, uh, looking for new uh, stuff or or unique. Put it that way, unique stuff. But yeah. me, I've always just whatever I hear that's out there. I mean, you can say commercial, whatever. But if I catch on to something new, it might be something that is branched on in this artist, and it might be another artist or group. That's what I tend to see. It, it, I mean, I don't. But but like you said again with Jay Z, so he's the one that put J Cole on. Yeah, from the sounds of the songs that I listened to in the first one, he's the one. He said that he was uh, signed to Rock. I did not know that. Yeah, that was on. Um, that has a lot to do then with like his his height, because I mean, look at it. If Jay Z put him on, uh-huh. I mean, these guys they they started themselves. But right, someone right, has right. to put you on, especially if you want to be a commercial rapper. Right, right. So getting back to J Cole versus Kendrick, that's where we're gonna go right. with this. J Cole versus Kendrick right now. Right. Jay Z put J Cole on, then obviously Dre put on Kendrick. I mean, you know, because he's from Compton. So oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. No, so that's how yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't know that. So that's why J Cole's getting all this press all the time. And why he's always put right, on his right, yeah. Because Jay-Z's, and he's good, but I just I had no idea he was affiliated with Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. He uh, on the song even before that, before I listened to the albums and whatever he was talking about, I had a feeling, or and I heard in songs that. Even the commercial songs he was talking about that. But uh, I can see it now. Even if he wasn't, if someone were to mention or compare, I'd be like, he does kind of got like that Jay-Z swag. And I like it. And I and I do. That's why I, I like Jay-Z. He's, he's got a good swag. And not only that, but he's a, a legend, uh, artist. Overrated. A lot of people say, yeah, a lot of people Overrated. would say that. Big L owned his ass on the seven. You know what? It, it, no, 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 hold on, hold on. And I'm not disrespecting Big L at all. And I think you better not. I, I think that's where you might get cut up in this. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I got I, a shank on me. I, I think that's where maybe Jay Z picked up a little of the style from. And if Big L were around, would it be different? Like, well, how what Jay Z? Well, the night that like right when Big L because he tried to do flamboyant records, mm-hmm. like that was his own record yeah, label yeah, that yeah, he was yeah. trying to do because his yeah. first album flopped commercially yeah. like, from a commercial standpoint. But I love it because mm-hmm. I'm a big fanboy of Big L. But I like him. Oh, I thought you said I don't like. No, him. No, I do like him. I love Big L. But at any rate, Good God. he got shot like nine times total, like I four in the no face, idea. five in the something crazy, some crazy know. statistic. But he had just signed a Raka. He signed on Jay Z's label, and then he got murdered. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, a little conspiracy. No, it, it is. Cause but the, I think Dame. I mean, because they they came up together. Yeah, I I, I knew Jay Z's on Big L's first album, Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous. Right, right. I I I knew a little bit, but the more I listened to uh, Big L, and of course loving him and being like, "Yo, this dude," you know, he would have been it. And then thinking about it in comparison, I'm like, "Oh snap!" Like, I think Jay Z was like, "Yo." The style right here, the way this dude flips it, that's it right there. Because Big L got a lot of, like, he's, he is, in my opinion, the best punchline rapper of all time. He's good. I like, want to say that. He'll set you up, he catches your attention, and then he hits you with the one, two, knockout, upper, you know, like, he is. He hits you with the left, then the right, and then the uppercut. He knocks you out with the punchlines. Like, yeah, he he's does. the he, best no, punchline he, rapper of all time. Uh, I, don't I know. stand by that. I, well, that's your opinion. I know. <laughs> but who who's a better punchline rapper than Big L? Like he learned his style from Lord Finesse, I know that much. But who just who can just break you down with a punchline? Big L's the best. I mean, you you could chew on that thought for a minute, but uh, you're probably right. I mean, off the top right now, really, because it's hard it's hard to say he's the best. He's one of my favorite of all time because of that reason, because of his punchlines and his, right. his, he's he's very intriguing and like he'll he keeps the you know he's yeah he is good with it. Now if you oh well, what do you yeah I, well I'd say. One that's next to him. Ice Cube's got great punchlines too, but not in like in a disrespecting old school MC way, like a New York way. Ice Cube had like the uh, he 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 had like the um the haymakers. It was just like boom 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 yeah. boom 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 like with big L's like do, 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 set you up and then boom he give you a punch like a com- like almost like a from a comedy standpoint. Yes too. yes like yes. Big L had some ask what did he say? Ask Beavis or I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm butchering it, but it'll come back. What. Um, Mad Hose asked Beavis, I get nothing but head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get Mad Hose That's a good Beavis, one. And it's, yeah, head. and it's good. It's great. And he was, he was, uh, he was always good. I, yeah, bro, right the top. Yeah, you might be right. 
Dude, Big Al's the best punchline rapper of all time. You might be, and you know what? And I'm and I'm gonna kick myself in my ass because I think about that when I'm listening to uh, records or whatever, just uh, songs, and I'm like, man, this dude's it. Like, this is the best punchline rapper or, or metaphor. You know, I don't know why off the top right now, and later I'm gonna be so fucking pissed because I'm Cause like, you're gonna be, oh, that's who I'm thinking. That's about. who I was thinking about. Like, man, I and bet then, you a bunch of people would agree with that. And with Big L too, like. He was maybe arguably like the first dude to do horrorcore hmm? with the Devil Son, like horrorcore, like scary raps. Mm, who? Big Al with the no. Devil Son. What? Who, that no. song, that his first single. Oh no! He's, he's talking when, about when, raping when, nuns and killing Christ. Like nobody was rapping like that. What year? What year did he die? Ninety nine. No bone. Bone was doing st- no, but when the Devil Son came out, that was probably like ninety four, ninety three. Bone. I would say I, 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 I would say a little bit of bone and when did Brother Lynch hung come in? I don't know. Cause We're that dude, look that. yeah, Brother Lynch hung's there, but Big L's Devil Son. Cause remember, like the sample that they're using. When I was twelve, I went to hell for snuffing Jesus. Oh, that's Nas. That's Nas. So Nas started that. That yeah. he he, which used I thought that. was. I was like, I don't know if I want to be saying that. No. Cause then later you're gonna. <laughs> You better yeah. repent for that one. <laughs> yeah, you might be paying for that yeah, one yeah. in the afterlife. But I mean, it's a good punchline. They line, sample but... that for Devil's Son. But then I remember watching an interview, and Nas said he heard the Devil's Son because, hey, they're using your line as a sample. Mm-hmm. And then Nas was just like, oh, shit. He's like, nah, this dude's crazy. He's like, I thought I had like the craziest shit with that oh, line. Oh, I get what you're but saying. But then Big L did Devil's Son and just set that tone like he's talking about electrocuting his mom in the bathtub by throwing a i don't even think i even listen to that never listen to devil's son no. oh dude oh everybody I mean, listen to that song right now i guess so stop turn this podcast no off. <laughs> no seriously turn a podcast off and put on the devil's son by big l it's like the nastiest song ever especially for the time frame and it's good the bass line sample's great. Right. The beat's great. I'll get off of Big L's nuts. It, no, no, if anything happens, don't try to get a hold of Joe and sue him because he told you to stop it. You told me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> something happened. Right, something happened. All but right. at any rate, back to the J. Cole, J. Cole versus Kendrick thing and like how I brought up, you know, Jay-Z versus Dre because those are their guys. Right. So getting back to that, I don't know, who's better? Well, you really can't. Kendrick's Kend- better. Well, what all between those right two? now? And I'm, I'm going to go back like with their albums too. Like Kendrick's first one that I listened to was uh, what was it called? Section eighty. Okay, and that that's a great. See, that's the thing. Though I really haven't really listened to a lot one. of the Kendrick. I know he's good. I've I've heard the songs. It might have been you know the uh, radio songs and whatnot, but I think he's good. Like actually, you know what? The first time that I heard him was on the Games album for In the City. And at the end, he spits a freestyle that's a cappella because even though he's in the song itself and the choruses, at the end, he does a quick, like, half minute freestyle of uh, a cappella, and it's just sick. And I was like, man, who is this dude? Like, I didn't know who it was. And then I got to see who it was. I was like, wow, that dude's sick. And then. But you don't like his voice. You like J. Cole's voice better, don't you? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Compared to them too, but not only that, I like J Cole better. I, I mean, like I said, all, in all I, way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his voice, his swag, everything. everything. Yeah, everything. But if it came like, if it came down to it to a battle, I don't know though. I I, I couldn't say because uh, Kendrick, is, he's bad. He's he's good. It's just if I had to sit there and listen to one of them, I'd rather listen to J Cole. Much respect to Kendrick. I mean, I know you know. Obviously, I heard of Kendrick first. I liked him better. I heard who J, I've heard J Cole's name a bunch of times, but then that Fountain Hills came out. I was like, whoa. All right. Like it was really, it really, really impressed me. That's right. a great album from front front to finish. I was like, this dude is in the same right lane as Kendrick. Right. And then all eyes for me. I was like, eh. Seems for little, your eyes only. For your eyes only. I'm sorry, I keep saying the wrong thing. <laughs> you know, too much Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> too much Tupac in my in my childhood. Yeah. And then this KOD. I was like, okay, like I saw all this hype. Like, ugh. Nope, nothing. No, it was. Mm. It's not bad. Yeah, it's yeah, not bad, but it's not it's great. Like, I give it a five and a half, six. Same. Yeah, I like just six. Just because. Six. Not only that, it, it's because it's him too. Yeah, and I like him. You know, it, that, that's probably the only reason why. But if it had to be like production and all that, I'm just like, no, it was too slow and too boring. Just like you said. So, um, yeah. His lyrical content was super, like super boring, dude. Like no, it was. It it was. It, like to me, like I know he was trying to make a connection there, but it's just like you're you're going all over the place. Like that's stick what, with it. That's you know what, and that's what I agree on. And I was trying to figure that out too. 
He goes everywhere. Like it's he's he's trying like he he's like Kevin's heart's my favorite song. Like what is up with that? Like what is it even about? What's it even about? Like yeah. what, is he trying to rap like he's he's a mumble rapper that gets a bunch of girls, but he's in love with this one because he likes her social media website or something? Like you know what? I now that I think about it more, because it was uh, what, what song was that? It, that it's was, like a total creeper song, but I, yeah, I yeah, but like, that was a uh, that was another one. That was a. Uh, um, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking about today, because I'm like, what is this about? Is this about... Like, a dude falling in love... Love with just, somebody on the internet, like, creeping? Just, just by creeping by her photo. Right. It, it's Is that the content of this song? I like, think it was. Okay. Then, and that's why I thought, because I'm thinking about a photograph or, like, a picture. But then again, this day and age, you know, with digital, I'm like, is that from creeping on the social media shit? I think so. So I'm like, ah. So it might, you know, it might be a grower. I mean, I've listened to it probably, like, a, maybe 20 times. Ten times. I don't. I don't think I will. It just. Um, and no disrespect to the guy. I mean, the guy's good. It's just this. This album was like not feeling it. Nah, I'm just not feeling it. Right. Just. I mean, besides like the last song, which was good that he uh, spoke his mind, did his thing, and did it in uh, fashion of what he's supposed to as an artist. He rapped. He put content, and he talked about stuff that people need to sit there, actually listen to to figure it out. I mean, you could put names out there, but at the same time, he wasn't really trying to diss. He was just telling how he feels in almost a nice way and give him game to be like, Yeah, Yo. he's like trying to school him. Yeah, and, like, and, that's, like, and, and that's totally fine. Like some, cup, some, but, some J. Cole life lesson. Yeah, and plus he also even said, but he also even said on that. But well, if you're hey, trying J. Cole, to, just could we get your message straight? Whatever the hell it is. Yeah. Could you just come out with an album like you're not trying to be like, I don't know, this is a concept, I'm in love. Or this is a concept, I hate mumble rap, but I'm, you know, like just... Go back to that Fountain Hills type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? That was it, really good. It's almost like... Because it was very passionate. Like, he comes out with some of these bars on here. Like, it's passionate, but it's it's disconnected. It's just bo- it's boring. That's what Thank it is. You. It's just boring. Because it's, like, slow and boring. I'm like, nah. I was like, I get what you're trying to do, but when you're still good. Just, it don't sound good. It doesn't sound good on this one. Mm-mm. But other than that, I mean, I don't know. Um, Hopefully, maybe this is like a... Uh, like you said, a little pre... Like a little like a precursor, like okay, I'm I'm I got your attention now. I'm gonna come with the good shit. Like, yeah, and then, and then just, well, we're waiting. Yeah, I'm like, waiting for it. It's Cole. almost like a follow up album. You I like you, you wonder why you you figure out why he did what he did. It's almost like a mystery. Like what? The, and all of a sudden, it's like oh shit, that's why he did it. Oh shit. Yeah, even Maybe. with the love album, before you know, mm-hmm. you, what's the name of it? I keep saying the wrong thing. For your, your eyes, eyes only, <laughs> not all eyes on me. Part two. For all eyes for me. Yeah, all eyes. I kept saying all eyes for me. All. F- <laughs> All for you, four eyes. All for you, four eyes. Put your glasses on, yeah. Joe. Put them on. Put them on. But yeah, where are your glasses? I got my contacts in. Uh, still get a thicker pair, right? <laughs> I got astigmatism. <laughs> I do. Like you're legally blind in your left eye, sir. I'm like, I know. I can't. really? Yeah, almost. Holy cow. Holy cow. But yeah, man, J Cole. I'm rooting for you, but Kendrick's still in front of you. He's still in front of you, and, it, and that's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. It's actually. Because that Black Panther shit that came out this year, it's, mm-hmm. I got to give it another listen. But it's just like some commercial garbage. Like every every song, it's like a it's like a new Kendrick album, but all of his buddies are on it. Like all of what the hell are they? Um, Top Dog Entertainment's on it. Like from that's like their Top Dog Entertainment's like Kendrick's little. Group. Oh yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. You have like Absol, right, Boy right, right, Q, right, right, all kinds of people, and I like all those dudes, but it just seemed like a really like commercial cheesy yeah yeah i, I haven't even heard yeah, it. It, like see that's the thing i need a bro i need i need to do more listening and brushing up because i usually in your right you can say i'm gonna give it another chance because it came out at the beginning of 2018 because remember the black panther movie yeah yeah so kendrick put it together with whoever but they did the entire soundtrack which is cool because they've gotten away from oh, shit like okay, that throughout okay, the years okay. i didn't even know that. so really all it is is another kendrick album that okay, came out i didn't this even year. know that yeah but it's a, the soundtrack but it's the soundtrack for black panther oh i didn't even the know movie, that yeah, the marvel that. movie yeah no, I know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that he he was the one that put that song yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. So it's all right. I just I think I think Kendrick's getting a little bit see, watered now, down, and I want J Cole to like get back up there, but he's not doing it. See, I'm gonna have to listen to it, and then I'm gonna actually probably have a different opinion than what you are. I'm probably yeah, like, we Man, never that shit agree. Was dope. Yeah, you'll like, probably like, like it. That shit was It'll good. be like your favorite Kendrick thing that ever. It, it probably will. It'll probably be <laughs> all everything opposite of you. Yeah. yeah. If you like it, I don't like it. <laughs> Well, we, that's the thing. Like, we actually both agreed that we didn't like this J. Cole album, so we, we have... Yeah, what, what, and what's funny about it is that you... A hip-hop connection you, you for told, the new wave. 
you told me that you got to listen to this album at least a couple of times. It'll probably grow on you. And I'm like, I, I will. No. After like the first, second time, I was just like, the hell is Joe talking about? <laughs> first time I hated it. But, yeah, but you were like. But up to the fifth time, I like I probably, like I said, 10 to 20 times. Fifth time I, I like, like, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm vibing. But then the more I listened, I was like, no. Yeah. I, I think. Like I was like trying, like whenever you mine was after try, the second. Mine, mine, mine was after the second. Because after the second, I was even like today when I was listening and I was like, all right, I got to. See if I catch anything more before you know we do this. But the more I listen, I was like, and I probably listened to it a full four, maybe five times. And after the second time, I was forcing myself. I was like, all right, let me listen to some songs. Some of them were right, but I was just like, I can't do it. I went back to his other stuff and was jamming out. And I was just like, this is what I, this is the style I like. This is what I like. He's got that flow. He's got that swag. The uh, beats I like. You know, it was it was all there. Especially with that first album. I mean, I I know I just kind of started listening to this particular artist artist like recently in a sense of really paying attention not hearing it from the radio but that first one i'm just like man like here's here's something crazy some stats i just found on the first day of this album kod it broke the previous record for views by drake in 2017 by receiving 64 million streams on apple music jeez that's ridiculous it had 36.7 million streams on spotify Jeez! In the first twenty-four hours. Wonder how many. Looking. So yeah, it sounds like the power. No wonder we're talking about this because Jay Z and like guys like Kanye have so much. Oh, they have, they have they so have much connection power. Connections. Their 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 hands are on the nuts. Yeah, of, uh, of, of all of us. Yeah, and, and their influence. Like they're yeah, just they yeah. have that much power. That's that's some crazy numbers, dude. I know. I wonder how many of those people are disappointed. Wow, that's crazy. It also beat Taylor Swift's "Look What You Made Look What You Made Me Do" by 0.4 million streams in its first day. So it even built this even beat Taylor Swift. That is nuts. That's because insane. That, well, not it's insane because after you review the album, you're like, it sucks. How many people? Well, actually... it doesn't suck. It's just lukewarm. It's, it's like, like it's like Lacroix. It's like a it's like a room temperature <laughs> Lacroix. Yeah, but it, but that's the thing. It's like wow, that many people actually like that. But that's just views. So, I mean, I'm other opinions. views are views. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't really listened to a lot of other reviews. Views are, yeah, yeah, views are views. But I mean, uh, yeah, once you see the reviews and like the comments, then that's yeah, gonna be way different. Have I, you watched I, any other reviews or comments? No, not yet. Um, I heard on a few maybe other. Uh, Podcasts and whatnot of them talking about it, but the only thing they talked about was 1985. Yeah, because it's a good track. It's a good track. It, 1985 it, and Kevin's Heart. I like both of those. And Kod isn't bad. Kod's yeah, Kod's good. He's spitting on. KOD. No, I like Kod. I just didn't like uh, Kevin's Heart. I was just like, this is weak. I liked it. You, you would. Whatever. Because <laughs> you got you're going through some of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> some heartbreak and torture. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I'm good. Yeah. 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 No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything's fine in my personal life. Yeah. But uh yeah, I don't know. So everybody check out the new J. Cole album. We want to know what you think. Seriously, get involved. Say say our opinion sucks. Send a comment. Right. You know, what is it worth the hype? Is it worth the hype? Do you like do you like Kendrick better? Do you like J. Cole? Who who's the better out of the two? Do is you... Kendrick or not Kendrick? Is J. Cole what he's doing, is it better? No, I don't think it is at all. Either do I. He has a lot. I mean, he has he has, he has a Because I mean to be conscious on your rapping is fine. But I like that you still gotta, you know, rock crowds and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can rock crowds being conscious, but like Throw a good beat in there or get people going. I mean, it ain't got to be all laid back or so much you got to slow it down for people. Like, still rock a crowd and spit stuff, and that's what I want. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Those listening, check it out. Give us your feedback. Let us know. I give it a six, a five and a half, six, maybe a 5.7. What do you give it? Same thing. Same yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, same thing. It's, it's just, lukewarm. It's lukewarm. It, it is what it is. So, R- yeah, really. And hopefully, maybe this is a surprise, like a little just. Yeah, please surprise me. I mean, everybody was thinking it. By looking at these statistics here, like that's a lot of numbers. That is a lot of numbers now that you said. That is crazy. And for, you, there's there's no comments or anything. No, this is I, that was just according to his his Wikipedia thing. So I mean, who knows how true it is? But I could see that being. I mean, those numbers. I get it. I mean, I wanted 
I was hyped up for it. Uh, you know, like when it came out, I'm like, I got to listen to it. So I was one of the people listen, the millions of people listening to it on Spotify. So were you? Yeah. Well, almost forcibly. But I listened to it the first day. That's the whole thing. Well, that's your style, right? And apparently, it's like 25 other million people style. He's, he's yeah, and those are all he's beating Drake numbers. Th- those are all yeah, those are all Drake fans. Yeah, yeah. They're probably about to back and forth, and they're all 15, 16, 16 year olds. Yeah. Though I'm just no, yeah, bullshit about that. But at the same time, if you think about it, a lot of it Was is the young. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're 35. It's it's what it is. But it's fine that he, if you're going for the uh, even reaching out to the younger crowd, that's what to if, make them listen to the lyrics again. So maybe he is dumbing this down so the younger kids will listen because old heads like us that have been listening to hip are going to say everything we, we just did exactly. And if you got someone that's younger in here right now that listens to it and likes it, they're going to probably. Give it a ten, yeah. praise it, and everything. Mind blowing. Yeah, that, that, that's awesome. Even even someone that's into the uh, new uh, stuff that he's dissing, they mm-hmm. could probably actually be like, man, that, I like his stuff now. Like I'm a, I'm a fan of his stuff now. Right. Like, even Lil Pump probably sitting there like, uh, uh, he was probably dissing him again because he's just an on idiot. the low though. I bet you he's probably like, man, I like. That, I don't dude. listen to lyrics. Like yo, I'm into my life. Yeah, man. I, he's just, like man, I just this beat though, man. He's like, oh, that's it's, none of the beats were really good on that on this KOD album. But the no. the idiots like. Little pump and all them, they yeah. that's what I'm saying to yeah. dumb it down. He probably did it on purpose, so these probably did, yeah. So these guys are like, Oh man, I like that beat. Then they actually they actually catch on and listening, like, Maybe he's right, maybe J. Cole's right, yeah. Maybe I should save up money to buy my mama a house. Now nah, I'm gonna go buy some jewelry <laughs> and some Gucci, yeah. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci yeah, gang, Gucci, Gucci gang, not, yeah. Not Gucci man, Gucci man, Gucci. <laughs> yeah, Gucci is that man. your wallet? <laughs> yeah, is that real? Yeah, it's no, it's fake. No, is it real? Yeah, it's Gucci. Shut, sh- oh, shut up. Is it really? Yeah. Gucci gang, Gucci You're gang. Gucci damn liar. Gang. Get your ass <laughs> out of here. It is, man. I got some Gucci. Yeah. That's real Gucci. Yeah, man. Look. Where'd you get it from? Gucci. Man, that. It says it, man. That says Poochie. Get Poochie. out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> we got Gucci. We got Gucci in the studio. But yeah, everybody back to that. Check out KOD. I, I don't know where hip hop is going, especially commercially. I like. I'm, I'm pulling for a lot of these guys. Kendrick's damn album wasn't bad. It, it shouldn't have been put on the pedestal that, you know, all these Grammy nominations and shit. To Pippa right. Butterfly was really good. Right. And Good Kid Mad City was even better. You know, so damn but, wasn't bad. It was darker, whatever. I, I reviewed that, I think, like episode six. So check that out. It's just now with new artists, it's like how many actually are good these days? From when we came up, you had, uh, you, you run out of people to pick. It was the golden era. Yeah, it was the golden era. Even through the 2000s, there were still good artists. The music, to some people, might have been like, okay, I'm not really feeling it no more. I still was paying attention because that's, I you know, I loved it. But up until the point of the Littles, all the names of the Littles coming out, that's what I was, even after like with Lil Wayne, I'm just like, all right, this is just getting to be too much. There needs to be some kind of substance. There needs to be something. But now it's only... It's almost every now and then you're getting a good artist that comes out. Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. It wasn't like a handful to pick from from when we had it. It's like you can pick all these people. That's what sucks, man. It's like, man. But I guess that's where it comes in that maybe that's what I need to do. How you're doing. Look into other artists. Dig. See what else is out there. Yeah, there's good. There's good. Because it's almost like the media tells you what is like, this is what's up. But these few guys over here. We'll keep them over here because some people like them, and it's almost like competition. But all the dumb stuff, this is what you need to listen to. Hell no. You know, I like a little bit. I do like the underground shit and more independent alternative hip hop. One of my favorite dudes that came out this year that I heard of for the first time. I showed you a couple tracks. JPEG, JPEG Mafia. I showed it to you before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody yeah. check him out. It's really out there. Like, it's nothing Death Grips-esque, but it, it's it's goofy. It's a little goofy, but I like the production. I like what he has to represent. He just played at the Beat Kitchen in Chicago on April 22nd. I wanted to go, but it just didn't happen. Right. But I, I like the traction that he has, so everybody check that out. I am going to do a review of his two albums that came out this year. But, you know, just as an example, like, he's doing something cool, and right. he's way under the radar, you know? But like that Maybe album, up and coming. Yeah, it's up and coming. Yeah. The album's called Veteran. Check that out. I like it way better than Jay than J. Cole's KOD. Yeah. But I got I got I ha, I do have a weird taste for hip hop. So. You do. You that's I that's where me and you clash. 
because you try to push some stuff on me and I'll be like, all right, I'll check it out. Like literally send me something. I'll be sitting at the house like, hey, check this out. Two minutes later after listening, I'm like, oh, I'm good. You're like, what? No, no, no. You got to li- send me more. I'm like, eh. I try. I you're mean, the, you're that old head. You're just stuck. You're still stuck in 1996 uh, or something. I I, I or am. I am. But the <laughs> artists that I like that I wish were main, well, more people would like that are lyrical, but they could still like what I'm do, talking do about. Do not bring up Chameleon Air right now. Yes. Oh, God, don't do this. Dude, he can. <laughs> he can. He can rock. Hear. He can rock a crowd. He can rock a crowd, and his message and his music is very good. That's what it's all about, dude. Nobody's listened to Chameleon Air since that one song in like two thousand and two thousand and three. Yeah, I get it because he hasn't put nothing else out. That he's a good businessman, but is he a good rapper? No. I yes, disagree. he. You're f- I, uh, <laughs> knock all these little. <laughs> what are these little toys off your? Hey, these aren't my toys, man. Jeez, these are Sretton's toys, and and. And Justin Wallace's toys, but yeah, everybody check out this album, Mike. Thanks for coming back. We're always gonna oh, bring you sure, on for hip hop, yeah. especially like these cool little reviews, these hype albums. I always want to bring you in because right. I, I really respect your opinion. Oh, for sure. I mean, and I'm glad that we actually agree on something. It's a breakthrough. Yeah, and that's the fun thing for about a Taurus and a yeah, Gemini the, the, to be yeah, on the same yeah, page. Yeah, that's, that's the fun thing about it is uh, we actually agree that this album kind of yeah, sucks. Yeah, because we, ha- we we do have that interesting uh, back and forth. Relationship. Agree to disagree, and it's yeah. good though as friends like. Yeah, because I mean, we could sit there and diss each other about stuff. At the but end then of the you day. always bring up Chameleon Air. I'm like, dude, I don't. I'm not. I'm not, not only him, <laughs> I'm the, just the, the game. Yeah, he's good. I like the game. He's yeah, I love. But Chameleon Air, dude, he's got bars. Okay, you want to talk about no, that? No, no, let no, me bring no. it up. Hang on. No Chameleon Air. You no. want to talk about who's no. a good uh, punchline rapper? Listen to his stuff. He's a good. I don't even rapper. like how he raps. Well, then there you go. It's the same thing about me and whatever the hell you like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's well, we agree to not really care for this J. Cole album, but right. we do agree that we like him and we're gonna give him another yet another chance. Oh yeah, for sure. Because Fountain Hills is the shit. Well he, I I think he's already established himself enough. I think for... Jay Z has really put him on a pedestal, apparently. Like looking at these numbers, I didn't know that. So I'm glad I just learned. Yeah, that. maybe. I mean you got the right connections, you're gonna get it, you're gonna be noticed. I mean a lot of people out there that ain't really noticed, they're very dope and they're good too. You just don't hear about him because of promotion or whatever. But even if he didn't like, and I came across him, he wasn't with Jay-Z, I'd still be like, this dude is bad as hell. He needs to be out there more like the Kendrick and all this. Yeah. I like him. I like him. I'm yeah. going to give him another chance. Oh, no, for sure. He's already, but uh, that's what I'm saying. He's already, he's already established himself for someone to be like, you know what? I'm going to keep listening. I didn't like this, but I'm going to keep listening. Because it's always first impressions. And he dropped his first impressions before, and it was good. He keeps me there. Like I'm saying, these last two albums, though, right. just a little disconnected on, right. on the content. Like, what, what, what are you? What, is this a concept album or not? What's what it about? Doing? What's going on? I don't think you're that deep and that bright to be like, oh, I have this whole other side. It's just like, no, I think you really don't have oh, your shit together. Oh, yeah, they have the alter ego yeah, thing. Like yeah, like the alter ego. Like, I don't think you really have your shit together, and you're putting out these disconnected, I don't know what the hell That's what I'm saying. Are you trying albums. to dabble into... Doing something different, and if you are, stick with what works with you. Stick with that, that Fountain Hills, because yeah, that worked, with, and that I was mean, passionate, and it was awesome. I mean, you can always and still grow and talk about from. different stuff, but when it comes to the sound, stick with the sound. Stick with what you... Because yeah. when you change up sounds, it's like... That's what I think draws people away, is a sound. Because obviously, I mean, some people, you can love their voice and their lyrical content, but when it comes to the sound in the back, it's like, what the... Like, Nas, that's I that. love him, but I'm like... That beat sucks. sucks. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I, I, like I, Nas beats. is one of the greatest. It's like, yeah. but on the albums, it doesn't keep me paying attention because I'm just like, all right, because what do you do? You listen to the first beat. I'm just like, it's boring. Okay. I listen to the message. It's good. But that beat's got to keep you there, though. I don't care what anybody says. That beat has to. Boring beats on this besides Kevin Hart. Kevin's Hart. I like that song. I, I do. He said there's a video for it, too, on Kevin Hart. Is and Kevin it? Hart's in it, yeah. It's some kind of weird, another deep... J. Cole Mystery is this song a diss to Kevin Hart? <laughs> J. Cole Mystery. <laughs> He's so deep. What is this what does this KOD stand for? What is this? Why is he bringing Kevin Hart just in? Just put it? out just yeah, exactly. Just just put out does something. Does he does he love Kevin Hart? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Nah, so don't. deep. Yeah. Shit's so cool. So deep. <laughs> yeah, that's what these new millennial rappers be saying. Man, that's just that's, that's so that's so lit though, man. It's just lit. It's lit, bro. Let's go do another dab. Let's go do another dab. <laughs> hey, man, you up? You up? You up for this? Yeah, man, you up, man. But, uh, yeah, dude, thanks for coming out again. Oh, for sure, We're going to have you on 
We're going to have you on for more hip hop related stuff, but always, yep. I'm always going to bring you in yep. when it's a new hype ass album and we're going to sit down and see if and we agree or not. Like and argue like a mug. Like we usually do, but we agreed on this yeah, one. Yeah, no, we did. We did. We both think it's a six. Yeah. Everybody go check it out. Yep. Um, and one more thing remember to look for Musically Meditated, subscribe to it on all your apps. Oh, yeah. iTunes, mm-hmm. Stitcher, YouTube. Look for Mike. He's always on Snapchat. He's that dude on Snapchat that just. But I'm that cool dude. Though. He's you, that cool you, dude. You be on watching Snapchat. and you be like, man, that dude's cool. As shit. He's cool, you know. So so so. You can add find him. me in the club. What's what's your Snapchat <laughs> handle? Where can they find you on Snapchat? What's oh, your name? Shit, what the hell? Look is that, that up. Look that up. But yeah, he he's always snapping. He he snapped this entire. I snapped on this, this dude earlier episode. for talking shit. That's what I did. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then he sends it to everybody. But no, well, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Everybody sees it. It's, everybody. Uh, What's your Snapchat handle? Uh, I don't know. I even to Come Let's on, look at man. this shit. Hang on. Man, you should up. know that. I know my Snapchat handle. What is it? Word is Bond, 83. Mine's Fiesta Meowta. Well, nobody's going to know that. <laughs> How do you even spell that? Fiesta. Okay, I remember that. And then Meow. Oh, Meowta. Ta. Damn, that's original. It is original. So check them out. I'm Fiesta Miato on Snapchat. Girl, you know what to do. Just hit that Fiesta. <laughs> Just hit that Fiesta. Hit me up. I'm Snapchat and you get the Fiesta. And, and then you'll get that Fiesta Meow. Yeah, no, it's all good. I always enjoy it, Joe. And thank you so much. Yeah, dude. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Sure. See you next week. Have a good weekend. Have a good day, whatever it is. Adios. Yes, sir. I'm musically <laughs> meditated. That's right. I'm musically <laughs> meditated. That's right. I'm musically <laughs> meditated. <laughs> again (laughs) producer my ass over there